Great movie. If it doesn't, if it doesn't turn out well, it's not because of the actor, it's because the camera may have probably had too much water or something. So, so the idea is that I took that movie, and obviously, um, and and uh, while uh, while taking that movie, I'll, uh, I quickly have to import the movie. So I quickly import that movie, and I'll go back to my to my CQ to my CQ environment. And obviously, it's a movie, right? So it probably should go somewhere into the digital asset management. So I open the digital asset management, and I go to movies. And obviously what I want to do is I quickly want to uh, bring up bring up my my uh, import movie to my movie here. That's going to be great. Um, and I'll, I just want to import it into into the den, right? So and obviously I get the thumbnail calculated and everything I wish for. And obviously this is half the bet, right? Get it into get it into the into the den. So the the next step is station on five. So I want to put it onto onto a page. So let's have a look at that. Uh, page that we have here, let's say the company page. And let's say we want to place that video right on here. So what we want to do is we want to go in, go into the movies here, and we want to say, hey, where is that movie? The movie's there at the bottom. I want to drag and drop this right in here. I want to place it at the top. And that's all I need to do. And uh, the interesting thing is this may look simple. But I can assure you, there's a lot of hand coding and stuff going on to make this video play. Uh, cameraman is not great, um, <laughs> but 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 it shows you the point. Is that technically it's a high quality or a high risk. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is this is the one the one area, of course. Uh, it's great. It's already transcoded, right? I don't know what this camera recorded into, but I'm perfectly sure that it's not something that my browser could play because it's going to be too easy. Um, but really, to show you the transcoding, we really need to uh, see how this helps uh, on a mobile device, right? So I'll bring up my uh, my iPhone simulator, and this is my this is this is really Apple's. Uh, oops, where is that? Uh, where is that? So this is really um, Apple's iPhone simulator. So it really emulates whatever whatever the iPhone normally does. And of course, if, as soon as I bring up the browser, I <coughs> log in with my secret password. Um, I see the video right here. And of course, I can play that video right from here. And I can rotate, rotate my device and the video is playing and everything's going happily ever after. But you can't you can, uh, imagine the complexity that you have to go through to do this manually.